So now having a little bit of a range fire like Transient, I think I can finally tackle some of those units that have all those heavy shield problems. And honestly, I didn't think I'd run into a match so soon against it, but I'm glad I did because I actually need to test myself more when it comes to using Transient in these types of situations since I was such a big melee fighter fan. I have to like really put in some work. So we got actually V2 Assault Buster and full armor gun. So this will be interesting. Time behind this build until we get our GN field. Um, I guess I didn't hit him. It looked like I did. Nice, we got him with the slash. Put the GN field up. Jump a little. Look out for that V. So V's my opponent here. Let's see what I can do here. Let's get some Lance bits in. Fire some Lance bit shots with a bit of power of thunder. Yeah, V2 Assault's always a prick to fight. So now that I actually have range and I don't have to rush in on him against his shield, it's like better that way. All right, so I lost my GN field. I'm going to see if I can get it back, but I'm going to fight a little bit more with my little thunder projectiles when I can and use my big thunder blaster if it comes down to it. Yeah, of course he blocked. Nope. Watch out. Bam. Watch out. Bam. bam. Come on. Bam. Bam. There we go. Thunder blast. Activate GN field. Woo! I love that field. Bam! Again, why I love that field again. So th this is actually another reason why I did like Transient. I kind of wanted him before I went for Captain Zeon was the fact that that GN field actually... Damn, that Thunder Blast killed. I love it. But yeah, it's definitely like really solid for its worth and why I really wanted it in the end. Like the GN field can definitely come in handy for these types of matchups or these types of situations. So I thought I'd finally like put it to the test. Get a little bit of extra attack due to my pilot being Orga. Alright, let's go. So I gotta watch out when it comes to freaking Unicorn here. Because with Unicorn, he can just block my Lance Bits and shove them back at me. But he can't shove back projectile versions of it. Only the Lance Bits that go at him. Or Dragoons. Or Funnels. But my Lan I'm not falling for that again. So he's got a nice little dash attack too. You didn't see that in the last video I posted about it, But that dash does cost stun, so you can do some extra stuff to your opponent in case. So yeah, you gotta watch out for those high armor. And I got blasted. Just when I had a special prepped. Let's fly a little bit. I kind of want to fly. I'm trying to build up that meter. Go for my GN field. Yeah, I'm staying high a little bit. Watch out. Watch out for that full armor. Put up my lance bits again. Look out. Ba Bam. Fire some thunder shots if he comes near me. Ah, crap. No. No. That was actually the first time I didn't, like, lose my first unit. But that's because now that I'm playing a range fighter... I'm playing a little, I'm running away a bit more, so it's not like I'm going, like, hands-on, like, combat. But now i got to fight Full Armor Gundam again, but since I know what I have to do against him when I play Burning is I just have to get my freaking dragon into, into him, those flame daggers. So that's the most important thing. Let's fly up. Whee! Fly up a little bit higher, try to psych out his, uh, bam, he was flying too much, which means he didn't have enough time to do a shot i'm gonna push him back so he doesn't interrupt my fight and that was your mistake never use a special when it's a very slow special and i still have flight cap pattern capabilities so using transient to kamiki and in the end i still had to fight armor with my freaking melee fighter it's all good thanks for watching y'all be good stay tuned for more homies so good to finally have like a range fighter on my team